Uh, thank you very much to my family and friends through all your support through all the years, uh, particularly uh, to me, the original Mr. Clark, my father, and my mom, Mrs. Clark. Wave that there you go, Dad. My siblings, my older brother, who looks much younger than I do because he doesn't teach middle school. <laughs> And my sister Laura, who just looks 21 for the rest of the time. Um, but most importantly to my lovely wife, Colleen, and my darling daughters, uh, Megan and Bridget, uh, listening to every story of every kid ever, uh, and coming to every concert and just being so supportive of everything I do. I love you guys. Thank you very much. Um, I'm honored to be part of such a noble vocation and I know that there are many, many teachers here. Teachers that are as dedicated uh, and as enthusiastic as I am. So I know that there's a lot. So can you just raise your hand if you're a teacher, please? Raise your hand. I do want to acknowledge uh, the teachers. Trotty or teachers that are here, and if you came in and I didn't see you, I, I apologize, but uh, in their own way, in their own style, nurture and care for and love their students and deserve these accolades. Um, Lisa Klein, <laughs> Bob Holland, Steve Brady, Carol Alvarez, Andrew Daniel, Robin Boucher, everyone for you, Pal and Tom Griffin, I do want to take a second and, and thank uh, Dr. Charles Gibran and Christine Johnson, the current superintendent, for uh, encouraging the teachers to take risks and to allow us the freedom to teach the way we need to teach to help these children and not be so concerned about filling out circles uh, and state mandated tests. So thank you. Every year we uh, every year they greet us and they say. Teach the kids, we'll deal with the Department of Education. Something like that. So thank you so very much. Um, I'd also like to thank Linda Murdoch, uh, the, the principal who hired me but probably should not have. <laughs> and Keith Lavoie. Well, well, you know, we'll, it's not over yet. We'll see. <laughs> and, uh, and Keith Lavoie, who probably should fire me but hasn't yet. <laughs> I do have a couple of hopes uh, for this book. First of all, I hope that I get to play me in the movie. <laughs> really, who else is going to do it? Right? Oh, Mr. Griffin, give me that. <laughs> I hope this book gets into the hands of young teachers um, because teaching is hard and it's challenging. And when you walk out of the of your college degree with uh, being 22 year old and, and knowing what your lesson plans are, there are going to be bad days. And they're going to be hard, hard days. And uh, I think Meredith demonstrates what a community can do. Community can do when it comes together. So I hope young teachers get this. I also hope that people can create their own versions of the band room. Uh, and by the way, you should go see the band room. It's down that corner, and it's cleaner than I think it's ever been. So it looks a little weird to me. So I don't know. Um, but. I hope people will be vulnerable to other people. I think we're very quick to become hard and, um, and negative, and I think that if we open up our hearts, good things can happen. Uh, as Mother Teresa said, we can do no great things, only small things with great love. And I think that's the secret to good teaching. And I saw another uh, quote, and I'm not gonna say his name, Tik Nhat Han, the Vietnamese monk, and um, he quoted Buddha, and I have a special affinity <laughs> yeah. um, don't worry if you feel you can only do one tiny good thing in one small corner of the cosmos. Just be a Buddha body in that one place. Um, and finally, uh, to the students, former, current, future, I love you guys. I really do. Um, Rabbi Hanina said, I have learned much from my teachers more from my colleagues, and the most from my students. So yes, in this book I'm the teacher, but I feel like I was really the student. I learned more about caring and giving 